a strange turn of events. <laughs> Explain to me how this happened. Well, this was around Ready to Rumble? Yeah, I did Ready to Rumble. It was sort of afterwards, and the movie didn't do so great right when it came out. So um, I, I was, you know, I was making an appearance on WCW just once and just jump into the ring and like get involved and then someone like beat me up and then I was done. You, you agreed know? to do that? Yeah, I, I know I agreed to do that. <laughs> that. That makes any sense. But um, so they beat me up and um, and they liked sort of how I got beat up, I guess. So they asked now, me. Now, were these guys back. actually hitting you? Or, I mean, what was, what, how, you know, how much, I, we all know it's. Uh, There's it's, a certain it's theatrical, amount of to say the least, but were they were they throwing you around? Yeah, well, you get you know they call it taking bumps when you when you take a bump. Uh, <laughs> this and... time of night, that refers to something else. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah that's you right. know what I mean at that point. Uh, but so you so you, but how did you get the title? Well, um, they just asked me to sort of be a part of it and kept me. They said, "Can you commit to being on the show for a couple weeks and uh, do a pay per view?" And I was like, "Sure." And then you know, part of that was they gave me the belt. I was. How did you get the belt? Though? You it was a strange beat the turn champion? of events. You know, it was like a, a you know, a four-way dance, they call it, I guess. Right. <laughs> it was me and uh, Diamond Dallas Page, who was my buddy, a little Page. Come on, bang. Right. I just who you hit the, over the head. The diamond cutter. Yeah, and um, against uh, uh, Jeff Jarrett and a, a guy named Eric Bischoff, who right. was the owner of the company. And then somehow I won the contest and won the belt. But Dave, here's what happens. You're an actor, you're there, you're really doing this kind of as a, as right. a promotion for right around. We get things going again right. in, in that world. And you end up agreeing and you get the <laughs> belt. But you're actually at this WCW with, and the fans, they're crazy yeah. about the wrestling. Yeah. How did they take to the belt going to an actor? They didn't take to it very well. I got, I got slammed When you got so the hard. belt, what, what was the crowd's reaction? Like, David, or were well, they throwing things? Some were, I mean, there was just like gasps and people fainting. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, there were people crying, no, how, why, this can't be real. He's not a real wrestler. I know, they went off, they are like, you know, uh, I would understand if it was someone like Robert De Niro, or <laughs> who's this guy, some pitch man for, uh, Telephone company, how could he? <laughs> right, right. They took it all serious. I was like, come on, you know, it's just. Dialed down them. That could have been like your signature yeah. move somehow. Well, I did say, I'm in a 1 800 kick the right. one time. Just but they... <laughs> that was my, that was my line. Yeah. You know, some of those commercials um, are, are, are a bit goofy. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Yours, somehow you pull it off though. I don't know what, uh, I, mean, I think it's just you. It was a lot of, I mean, I had fun doing them. I mean, they serve their purpose. Right. You know, I see, like, you know, doing over-the-top comedies or, or commercials that are funny, things that get your face out there as a way of uh, increasing your visibility and then eventually increasing your sort of name value. So right. you have, you know, you could get foreign financing for smaller films that you truly believe in. And that's right. pretty much sort of the game in Hollywood. Right. That's deep.